Hey everyone, welcome in a new episode of Stephen's Week, your weekly update on marketing, technology and customer experience. Enjoy this new episode, my friends. Some impressive results were shared about Uber Eats and Uber Eats is like a separate brand of Uber where people can just order food and the drivers of Uber deliver it at your doorstep and a zillion restaurants are already taking advantage of this uh, offering. Now they shared their results and apparently this year Uber Eats will be good for three billion dollars in sales, three billion. Uh, which is about 8 to 10% of the total revenues of Uber. So this is pretty big. Eh? Everyone thought that this was a separate brand. Some people even thought it was still an experiment. But if you see what an impact this has on the big result, and knowing that they're just getting started in many markets, um, Uber Eats looks like it's going to be something really, really big and something that could change the way that we order food and the way that we have access to food. Amazon is doubling down on their Alexa Everywhere strategy. Uh, and this is a key point. They are actively managing everyone towards voice and they're trying to get an as big as possible installed base of Alexa because they believe this will be their Trojan horse to really conquer the world. Uh, now you have Garmin and they have the first in-car Alexa system. So that means that when you're driving, you can ask Alexa all kind of different items. You can ask them for a weather forecast. You can help them with her, uh, ask her for directions and all other functionalities. And they're trying to get her into almost every aspect of our daily life to make sure that talking to Alexa becomes as normal as talking to your cell phone. The guys from Apple have big plans with Apple Pay. And there, uh, there was this interview this week and they announced that they are setting their eye on India, which is of course a huge 1 billion people market uh, which makes sense to go there but it won't be easy I think for Apple to go into this market um, first of all India is already a very mobile pay market and this is because the Indian government last year redrew 86% of the cash money from the market so can you imagine that this would happen in your industry or your your country I mean that the government just pulls out 86% of the uh, of the cash so that of course creates a boom in mobile payments so many Indians are already now using one of the other mobile payment services next to that Apple is not a top five brand in the smartphone industry so even though it's a huge market Apple is not the number one by far in that market so you see that for many Western brands it's still a big struggle to get in those big Asian markets like India and China. So I wonder how it will go with Apple Pay. There's really big news from Google DeepMind this week. Uh, you probably know that uh, from my previous weeklies maybe, that about a year and a half, there was this huge news that Google DeepMind with AlphaGo won from the world champion Go. And Go is always seen as the most complex board game in the world with an, a huge number of combinations, which makes it impossible for humans to pre-program everything. So the day in 2016 when Google AlphaGo could actually win from the world champion. That was a breakthrough. Now, yesterday, so on Thursday this week, there was huge news that AlphaGo Master, the top machine of Google, was beaten in Go by something new that Google DeepMind created. And this new thing is called AlphaGo Zero. And the big difference is that this machine learned to play Go all by itself. So there was no human input. The machine just played against itself and it basically learned to play from the best machine in the world and today it has become the most efficient and the best playing machine in the world it took 40 days for the machine to learn how to become the best but now we are in a new phase of ai where you don't have the humans guiding the machines anymore but where the machines just learn from their self this is the real self machine learning and this will probably create a number of new large opportunities. And this is a big new milestone that we've seen this week. So I really thought this was the biggest news of this week. So guys, this was my weekly update. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share the video and I will see you again next week. Have a wonderful weekend, my friends.